Dear Santa, all I want for Christmas this year is if there was any way you could help my dad feel better. Hannah Ulmer, Christmas 2008. My name is Darren Ulmer. I'm Hannah's dad. You see, it all started one Sunday in August. Woke up Sunday morning and had this lump on the side of my neck. So I went to the doctor and asked to get an opinion on it. Well, you're in great shape. It's probably nothing. If it makes you feel any better, why don't I send you for a biopsy? I met with the thoracic oncologist. I said, so what do you think? And he said, well, it's probably not nothing. It's probably something, but I'm not gonna know for about a week. Friday, October the 3rd, 2 p.m., I was back at the doctor's office to get my results. I remember it because this young lady walking behind me said to me, as she was guiding me to the doctor's office, said, so how's your day going? And I said, I'll tell you in about 10 minutes. Got into the doctor's office and sat up on the bed and waited for the doctor to come in. And within a minute, walked in and looked me deadpan right in the eyes and said, well, Darren, as I suspected, it's cancer. My wife was working in the school system, so I decided I was going to wait for her in the garage and talk to her before I talked to the kids. Shanna drove up and I guess you could tell from the look in my eyes because she came out of the truck crying and our life changed forever at that moment. By the time Monday morning rolled around, I was a solid mass basically from the bottom of my ear to the top of my shoulder. Friday, I had a pick line inserted in my right arm. It's basically an intravenous line with two ends on it that is fed up my arm directly into the top vessel of my heart. My last chemo, coincidentally, was on November 25th. That was the day we also happened to intercept Hannah's letter. We read it together and we made a decision at that point in time that we were going to go out and do something about it. So we went down to one of the local furniture stores and we bought the biggest, double wide, fully reclining leather Lazy Boy chair that they had in the store. And we placed it directly in the middle of our living room, right in front of the TV, close to the phone and the computer. And that way, every day when Hannah came home from school, she was able to drop her backpack at the door, come in, wash her hands, and climb up in the chair with me and tell me about her day. The thing that I think about the most with my critical illness insurance, the benefit that it gave me, wasn't just a peace of mind. It was a double wide, leather, lazy boy, fully reclining chair. And we got to be a family. 